Good day YouTube, it's Brett here from Overtime Gaming with you once again and welcome back with some more FIFA 13 Connected Career Mode. Of course guys, we are back with Newcastle United, the Black and White Army, the Toon Army, the Mighty Magpies. We are approaching the end of our series here. Of course, as I said in the last video, we have lot the save file for this series has become corrupt. I can't get it back right now, I'm trying my hardest with EA. Um, and Microsoft to try and get it back so I can use it again but for right now this series will be ending on Monday guys so unfortunately we will only be continuing with our MLS series our MLB 13 the show series our WWE 13 universe series and then just small videos like FIFA Ultimate Team and stuff like that so definitely stick around on this channel I'm putting out there my MLS series has actually been more popular and more successful than any of the Newcastle videos anyway so it seems like an okay time to change. I mean, I've been getting less and less comments on this series and uh, less and less views as well. And more and more people are going to the MLS series and everything like that. So I think it is a good time to change right now. Um, I wish we didn't have to. I wish I was able to continue this. But unfortunately, because of the corruption, I cannot finish it. We are, all, we are only around 20 games left until the end of the season anyway. We've made it to the knockout stages of the Europa League. We actually have this match, which I believe is the FA Cup match against West Ham. Um, then we have... We are second in the Premier League right now, and there's no way we're catching Chelsea. So I think that's probably where we're going to finish. So we'll just put it down to this right now. We still may be able to get the series back, and I may be able to continue at a later date just to allow us to finish the season. Um, but right now, we qualified for the Champions League, we finished second. We're going to say we won the Europa League because the form we've been in, we would have won the Europa League. Um, as simple as that. Um, the FA Cup, we'll have to see what happens in this video. But it's been successful. We've had two good years at the club. I really wish we could have gone on longer. I wish I had started it earlier, to be fair. Um, but I didn't get my game capture and stuff until end of January, so I wasn't able to start it until then. Um, I wish all the corruption to the save file and stuff didn't occur, but unfortunately it did. But make sure you go over to the MLS series if you haven't been watching it so far. That is a fantastic series. It's actually really fun to do. We're getting very close to the transfer window now. Um, we just finished the month of May, I believe. So we're getting very close to the um, July transfer window, guys. So definitely head over to there. Make sure you check out all the WWE 13 Universe modes. That comes out on a Monday and a Thursday and soon Sunday. Because Monday and Thursday is the fantastic goal by the newly signed Kitten Billadair. Beautiful ball in. He just comes running back and then the backward bicycle kick as we look at this again. Dine with the cross in there. Beautiful finish by Kitten Billa. And uh, we will have a season awards video which will probably be... Um, a week on Monday because remember I am on holiday next week um, but there will be videos every single day still just not as many every day but there will be an award video to just end this series We'll have, and it will be a full award video it won't just be for the season it will be goal of the series will be one of them there will be so I'll get that out probably next Saturday the, goal, the voting for goal of the series um, there will be player of the series as you see Carlton Cole with a cheeky finish over Hugo Loris there Best transfer of the series, biggest flop of the series, best young player of the series, most improved of the series, everything like that will be in it. And it won't just be from this season, it will be from last season as well. So we'll get that out in a couple of weeks just to officially end this series. I really wish I didn't have to, but unfortunately I do. But as I was saying, make sure you check out the WWE Universe mode. And that's on Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays is WWE Raw, Thursdays is Ring of Honor, and Sundays every once every um few weeks every yeah every month once a month even sorry guys is going to be the pay-per-view actually it's going to be twice a month because that will be saturday and sunday there'll be a pay-per-view because we're doing two pay-per-views one for ring of honor which will be the saturday pay-per-views and one for wwe which will be the um sunday pay-per-views this sunday this pay-per-view which is in two weeks i believe um, two weeks is going to be Extreme Rules. I haven't decided what the Ring of Honor pay-per-view is going to be yet. 
Um, I'll have a look at that and I'll decide what it's going to be. It could be something like Hardcore Justice or something like that. So make sure you go check that out. We've got the MLS series, which I've already spoke about, which seems to be actually the favourite on my channel. So I really appreciate everything for that. If you're a big fan of this series, definitely go check that out. Um, we've also got um, the MLB 13 The Show series, which is newly started. That's actually one of my favourite series to do. That's the baseball series with the Arizona Diamondbacks. So definitely go check that out. That's getting a lot of support as well. Um, I really enjoy doing that series. It's actually loads of fun. Um, we're going to have stuff like Ultimate Team on the channel, um, some Hockey Ultimate Team as well. But alongside that, I am starting something new in a couple of weeks, which is the NBWA Fantasy Promotion. Uh, if you've seen any of my NBWA videos, that's New Breed Wrestling Association. It's a Banbury Wrestling Association. It's starting to get quite big, actually. And I'm doing loads of stuff for them. I'm doing promotion for them. I'm breaking exclusive news. Um, so I'm partnered with them. And I'm doing a fantasy promotion for them. Basically, it's the same pretty much as WWE 13 Universe, except it's a combination of their wrestlers, the best wrestlers around the world from Ring of Honor, TNA, um, WWE, and independent wrestlers. And it's going to be run under the NBWA name. And basically, what you do if you want to be part of it, go over to the NBWA Facebook page. I'll leave it in the description of the next NBWA video. Um, which is actually out today, and head over to there and you can vote on what stars you want to see, you can vote on who's the champion, you can vote on what matches you want to see, so it's going to be loads of fun, and I'm going to run it from WWE 13, I'm going to do all the matches and stuff on that, and uh, just for the entertainment of everyone, so definitely go check that out as well when that comes out in a couple of weeks. Now let's get on to some football news now. England is a bad time for English football. I am, I'm finding this absolutely disgraceful. England have dropped to 15th in the world. Of course, we haven't yet qualified for the World Cup either. We're actually sitting in our group. Uh, absolute disgraceful position for English football. Roy Hodgson, I am not a fan of. I never have been. He has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't know when to make substitutes. He doesn't know what, what tactics to play. He's an awful, awful manager and really needs to go. I would give him the rest of the qualifying campaign because there's no point bringing in a new manager for the rest of the qualifying campaign. The fact is, every team we play in the qualifying campaign, we should beat. I don't care if people say Montenegro are a good side. They aren't. We should beat them. England football should be in the top five of the world. It's simple as that. I don't care what anyone says. We're in a disgraceful position right now. It's absolutely horrific. And it's actually the lowest we have been since 2008. And it's only the second lowest we have been in the last 12 years. The lowest is 16th in the world, which was back in 2001. It's absolutely disgraceful. And even if we do qualify for the World Cup, we need to get our world ranking up. Otherwise, we're going to get a crap seed. And we will be in a group with someone like Brazil or Spain. It's simple as that. And it's absolutely ridiculous now. Now, other things. Um, gigs look set to... Uh, become a coach and he actually has with immediate for effect he is of course retired now from Man United and with immediate ref uh, effect he has become a player coach so he hasn't retired fully but obviously he won't play every single game like he previously has done he has become a player coach at Man United I think it's a great move for Giggs um, it means he doesn't have to play every single game like he has been doing and he can have his experience aid younger players in the squad I think it's a great move for Man United I think it's a great move for David Moyes and I think it's a great move for Ryan Giggs let me know what you think of it in the comment section below um, Marco Van Ginkel has confirmed he has signed for Chelsea the Vitezzi um, player of course he's a 20 year old midfielder Dutch midfielder really good talent has signed for Chelsea I believe he'll probably go out on loan somewhere this transfer window um, purely because Chelsea have got enough midfielders and I don't really see where he'd fit into the side. So good signing for Chelsea for the future, but for right now I think he should go out on loan. Um, City are looks set to put a bid in for Negredo, this um, Atletico Bilbao striker, I believe. Um, great, great striker, I must admit. Um, heaps of talent, been linked with a move to the Premier League for a long time now. And Seville, sorry, not Atletico Bilbao. Uh, extreme talented player, has broke into the Spain squad more often than not now as well. He's really set himself up as a top draw striker and he's really talented and would be a great move for Man City. 
They're looking at him for a replacement for Carlos Tevez. So good move. Not as good as Tevez, don't get me wrong. But still a good move for Manchester City. Um, let me know what you guys think of the signing. Do you think they should be going after someone more high key? Of course, they are linked with Cavani and so are Chelsea. As you see, we're letting the 82nd minute goal here in the FA Cup. Poor, poor performance so far in this game for us and we really need to turn it around. But as I was saying, do you think they should go after someone more high profile to play up front with Aguero? Um, they've still got Dzeko, obviously, but they haven't got Balotelli anymore. They haven't got Tevez anymore. So right now, they only have Dzeko and Aguero. Negredo is a good signing, but he doesn't offer much more than Dzeko does, I must admit. Aguero's fantastic, obviously. I think they are linked with Cavani, but so are Chelsea. PSG and or Madrid seem to be the favourites right now, so I think they're going to miss out on that as well. Um, so I think they really need to go after someone. Obviously, Higuain looks like he's about to sign for Arsenal. Fantastic move for Arsenal. So I think they need to go after someone like Benzema. I think Manchester City are kind of dropping off slightly. Um, I think Chelsea have completely caught them up now. Manchester United aren't going to be anywhere near as good, don't get me wrong, as they have been. Um, but I think Chelsea are now the best team in the Premier League. And Man City, if they want to stay at the top, need to combat that by going out and signing a top draw striker. I mean, they've missed out on Isco, so they've missed out on one of their favourite midfielders that they've wanted as well. Um, so they're in a bit, of, a bit of a state right now. Let me know what you guys think. Um, other news, John Joe Shelby, who we all know I bloody hate. I think he's an absolutely disgraceful player. I think he's awful. He has no respect for fans either. He's just crap. Has signed a £6 million move to Swansea. Great deal for Liverpool. Getting £6 million for him is fantastic. Uh, my dad's a Liverpool fan, and he even he said yesterday he would have quite happily paid Swansea £6 million to take him off his hands. Um, so I think it's a great move for Liverpool. Be a good move for Shelby because he'll get some more first-team football at Swansea. Uh, Newcastle news, um, Wigan have signed James Perch of us, of course, Perch has been playing as a utility man recently, I don't, I'm don't. i not a big fan of Perch, I don't think he offers that much, good signing for Wigan to be fair in the championship, um, so good move for Perch as well, it means he'll get first team football over there as well guys. Um, other than that, Manoon, the Arsenal goalkeeper, is signed for Sunderland. Bad move for Sunderland, they really need to go out and get a better goalkeeper than that. Manoon's crap, he doesn't even get into the Arsenal first team. Um, he is crap, and of course they've lost Miguel. They really need a new goalie now. It's simple as that. Um, I'll see you on Monday for more FIFA 13 Connected Career Mode, guys. There are a few videos coming out over the weekend. For example, tomorrow is a rugby challenge video, a prediction for the final test of the Lions Tour. So make sure you check all that sort of stuff out. And peace out, YouTube. We're heading into overtime.